to chat about what to expect. We have Africa's first ever Winter Olympian to compete in five different Alpine events. Alex Heath is in studio. He joins us now. He's also brought along his skates. He competed in three games going back to the 1998 edition in Nagano, Japan. Alex, thank you very much for chatting with you Morning Live. Southern Africa has a representative from Zimbabwe in Luke Stain, but we could have had a representative in 18-year-old Sivis Spielman right here from South Africa. Yeah, it's actually an amazing story. Um, Sivis started skiing in Barclay East at Mel Resort, and, uh, and his journey has been, uh, has been the ultimate Olympic story. He's, uh, he's, made it, uh, he's made it, he's qualified for, for the game. All right, so we apologize just for that sound. We've given uh, Alex a, another mic, so I think you can start that again, because it really is an amazing story. Um, unfortunately, South Africa won't have a representative at the Winter Olympics, um, but something that you can delve a little bit more into, because you actually have trained Sivir Spielman. Yeah, for, for quite a few years now, I've been uh, Sivir's coach, and uh, I've been traveling around the world with him with a specific goal of qualifying for, for these Olympic Games, which he, which he did do. And uh, unfortunately, um, Saskok decided that he's not good enough and, uh, and they ref they've refused to send him, which is very sad. Uh, according to Saskok, though, by the statement that they sent out, is that uh, he only achieved the B qualifying standard, which w for many athletes that go to the Summer Games, they know that they have to achieve the A qualifying standard or be in a certain placing in the world rankings. Was that qualification criteria never made clear for you guys? We were under the impression from the beginning that Sivir would go on A or B qualification. So it was a complete shock to us when they turned around and said, no, he doesn't have A qualification. But the Olympic Games is more than, it, it, it's twofold. It's more than just the medal winners and the professional athletes. There's also the universality side of it, everyone coming together, the spirit of the Olympic Games, where uh, Pierre de Coubertin said, it's, it's not the winning that counts, but the taking part. Yeah, and I think, I mean, you just have to look internationally and the kind of headlines that a Jamaican bobsleigh team makes. You know, it's these feel-good stories that really make the Olympics what they are. Athletes from Mexico and East Timor are taking part. So it really is quite sad that South Africa itself won't have a representative. Yeah, it, it, it's also uh, m more sad in the fact that um, Siva is, do, is doing it for a sport that is developing in the country. If you take the... Uh, Mexican skiers or, or Jamaican bobsled, there isn't really a, a sport that's happening in the country. Here we have ski resorts, we have interested athletes and, and, uh, and, and he's a perfect role model. He started inspiring people and, and this was the next step in, uh, in, in making many, many athletes. All right, just tell us, you've been to three different Olympics. What's it like to be one of the only athletes from the African continent competing there? Uh, to represent your country in the Olympic Games is, is the highest honour. And, uh, and, it, and it's, it's, it's quite a surreal experience because it's an individual sport and, and, you're, and your whole life you, you're competing for yourself. But then you get to the Olympic Games and, uh, and suddenly you, you, you feel the weight of the nation because everyone's watching and the, the whole world is watching you and, and uh, it's really proud. All right, we started off the sports bulletin and we've just been watching some visuals there of some of the... Uh events that have just started in Sochi, Russia. What can we expect? Because there's a couple of events that make their debut. The uh, team skating events, one of them, the slope style is another one. Yeah, no, uh, I think slope style, especially slope style snowboarding is going to definitely appeal to uh, South Africans. We have quite a few um, snowboarders in South Africa that, that uh, take part in the, uh, the discipline as well. Um, it's very exciting, lots of tricks, lots of jumps. And, uh, and with so many of the, the Winter Olympic sports, um, there's really high levels of of, uh, of technicality that are, that are on display in in such a such a variety of sports. All right. Well, Alex, thank you very much. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to speak to you. There really is so much to chat about when it comes to the Winter Olympic Games. And send our regards to Sivis Spillman and tell him to keep his keep his spirits up because we really would like to perhaps see him at the next games. Thank you very much. All right, that's Alex Heath. He's a three-time Winter Olympian himself, just uh, giving us a taste of what we can expect uh, our, from the Sochi Ro Games that are taking place in Russia, the opening ceremony it takes place uh, tonight, and also just chatting to us about uh, the very unfortunate story of Sivir Spielman. That's how we come to 7.30, and it's time now for your headline news.